Uh, this tripod came out a few weeks ago and apparently everyone is loving it. So I won't lie to you, when it was announced, I couldn't care less. Uh, for me, I am really in love with my Orion uh, tripod here. This tripod is super tall, it's um, you know, very sturdy. So it came with the binoculars because the binoculars were so heavy. So it goes over here on the top. And I mean, for me, this is perfect when we do video. It's, it's fantastic. But the problem is it's really heavy. When we went to hike the mountain to see the comet last time with Dahlia, um, it was really hard to get this out there. And because of how heavy it was, uh, we didn't take the uh, Star Adventure tracker, which is why we have zero picture of the comet tracked. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to open this real quick. I only opened it once uh, in Landers when I got it and um, I did not you know, dig around or anything. So I pretty much know nothing about it. I have not watched any video or anything. So I'm actually pretty excited to see uh, what all the fuss is about. So let's open it real quick and see what's in there. So first thing to notice is the it came, it came with a bag. So this is the bag it came with. So you might know uh, Radian, the company, uh, Radian telescopes from the triad filter, which they make uh, with OPT. So Obviously, it's a good brand. I mean, this brand that I love so far because the filter is fantastic, right? So, it came with a bag. The bag opens up, um, you know, straight like this, and then it also opens up from here. So, if you want to grab it from the top, you can easily grab it from there, which is nice. This is the size um, that it comes with. It's all uh, all retracted, and I noticed right away there is a one of the legs here has a, a soft padding. So you can grab it uh, with your hand and it's not going to, to slip or anything. It's actually really nice. So the only thing I did last time when I was trying it out for like a few seconds is I put this ball head on top here. So I'm going to remove it right now uh, because it's not part of the tripod. So the ball head does not come with it. Just so you know, I'm going to put it right here. So the tripod at first glance is really nice really nice so this is what it looks like open let's see how tall this can be so I'm going to try to unlock all the legs all the way Ooh, okay that's pretty tall already okay I'm not sure what I'm doing but oh okay I did not expect that okay the thing I was, you know, pretty sure I was going to say is that this tripod will be much smaller than, than this one, but I guess not. And let's see if I can open this leg as quick as I can. If I do all three at the same time, maybe. Ooh, nice. Okay, I can lock this. All right, so it's actually pretty big. I mean, pretty tall. Woo! So it does uh, beat this tripod. In, in terms of size, unless I want to cheat, of course, and do that. Now I'm going to cheat. Okay, this one wins if I cheat like that. Well, it's not cheating, but this is not, you know, stable, so I don't actually use that often. Um, so I would say it's about six, no, maybe five foot something. I don't know feet and stuff. I know meters, sorry. But um, what do we have in terms of uh, stuff to help us out here? So on the top here, we have a bubble level. So we know, like right now it's perfect because I'm in stable ground and it's flat. So I'm seeing those silver things here, which I wonder what, what do they do? I think I know because I've seen it before. It's, if I do this, okay. So those silver things here, uh, if you pull them, you can, make the tripod, you know, in different angles. So, wow, <laughs> I can make like a spider if I want to here. So if I want to shoot something, well, a camera, I would be like this. Interesting. Well, I don't need that, but it's cool. And we have a quick platform release button here, which is red. Oh, okay. All right, so you unlock it with this and then you press the red button down here, which unlocks uh, whatever's on top. 
And I also see there's a nice touch here. I'm guessing you can hang some stuff here, like a hat or something. Probably something useful, like a like an intervalometer, for example. Nice. This feels really nice. Um, it's supposed to hold about 55 pounds, so it's pretty, it's pretty uh, impressive. I believe the Atlas mount is like 45 pounds. Even the Mighty mount is 45 pounds. I would not use this with a Mighty mount, but um, something like the Star Adventure Pro, for example, would be perfect for this. So the only thing you would need to, to buy separately if you plan to attach a camera right on the tripod um, is a ball head. So I can attach a ball head here and then we're going to uh, screw the plate into the DSLR camera. And now we can safely put the DSLR camera on top of this. All right, so here we have um, a camera mounted on this tripod. Looks cool. So obviously this tripod can take much more than just a camera. Um, but if you want to, you can you know, take pictures uh, untracked using just that and you know, just take pictures and aim it as you please. And uh, take pictures this way. But what we, what I plan to do with this tripod mostly is to remove actually the, uh, the ball head here. Okay, so I have the Skywatcher Star Adventure Pro here in my hands, which is a fantastic tracker by the way, very affordable. And what I'm going to do is I can simply attach it to the top here really easily. We can just screw that right away under the uh, Skywatcher Star Adventure Pro. And we can use that little hook to easily do that. Okay, and now we can place it back uh, on on here. Okay, and lock it again. Pretty quick, right? So here is a full star tracking rig with a very very light but sturdy tripod. So you know the whole thing is so easy to lift. You one hand. <laughs> It's pretty crazy. Um, with this tripod, I don't think there's a way to lift it with one hand. There's no way. But this, you can just carry it everywhere you want. So it's really nice. I mean, look at that. Easy. I am genuinely impressed by the lightness of it. It's, it's really nice. And you know, our Radiant Telescopes advertises this as the only tripod you will ever need. And I'm starting to think it's actually true. I mean, there is no other, there is no flow that I can see here. So for taking videos, uh, I'm guessing it's easier with the Orion because it's just easy to, to pan with the handle. And but there is no handle here, but this is not made for video. It's made for uh, astrophotography. So lightness, nice features. So far, I like it. Now, if it's clear tonight, I'm going to try it out and we'll see uh, if it performs nicely. Of course, it became cloudy, so I had to wait several weeks to actually image with the tripod. Then came the wildfires, so the review has been on hold for a long time, which is why I decided to release the first impression video today, instead of waiting forever for the review to be done. Let me know what you think of these first impression videos. We've been using this tripod since July, and so far, we really love it. I'll see you guys next time, and clear skies.